Hey guys, Tom Taylor coming back at you from Rock News Desk. Before we get into the video, please hit the like and subscribe buttons below. Also, if you dig these videos, please consider sharing them to any of your socials. Doing this really helps out as it allows me to keep bringing you fun content, content like this. Here's one I'm sure some of you missed. If you're a Van Halen fan like me, you probably have all their albums, have seen them live, and will fight anyone who says Eddie Van Halen isn't the greatest guitarist of all time. Everyone knows the story of how he ended up performing the solo on Michael Jackson's Beat It and how he did it for free. I'm sure you also know about his contributions to the soundtrack for the 1984 Fast Times at Ridgemont High inspired film Wildlife, starring Christopher Penn and Eric Stoltz. But did you know about the two songs he recorded for the 2006 porno called Sacred Sin? I'm not making this up, I promise. Apparently, Eddie Van Halen was friends with a porn director named Michael Nin. Nin began making adult films in the early 90s when he directed Principles of Lust. From that point on, he put out multiple movies per year. He directed such masterpieces as Two Sisters, New Wave Hookers 5, Solo Erotica 3, Double Penetration, Inside Myself, Pussycat, Nymphetamine, and the one we are most interested in, 2006's Sacred Sin. When asked by Adult Video News about his involvement, Eddie replied, I'm working with a friend. Very simple. I like his work. Michael Nin is like a Spielberg to me. The imagery, the way he makes things look, just sensual. Apparently, the two had been friends for a while before that. I'm not exactly sure how long, but director Nin called it, quote, a couple lifetimes, it seems, end quote. He said Eddie called him up one night to work on some music. He explained they would sit around at one of Eddie's two grand pianos, play, and talk all night long about life. Nin said the idea for the film came from the things they talked about. Life in general, he explained in 2006. Imagery and the power of imagery. Sometimes, as he'd play, I'd walk around the estate, and the story kind of came to me while I was there. It's pretty. Yeah, I like it. It's a whole part. It's very pretty. You know, just simple lines intertwining. You know, very much like I'm really influenced by Mozart and Bach, and it's sort of in between though. It's really, it's like a Mach piece, really. It's, what do you call this? Well, this piece is called uh, Lick My Love Pump. Eddie recorded two songs for the movie and shot videos for each. The first, Rise, was a medium tempo rocker with a cool groove and lots of fret work from Eddie. The next song, Catherine, starts with the piano and sounds a bit more like a movie score. There are two versions of the video, one of which has some spliced in movie footage. Both videos are cool and you actually get to see Eddie behind the drums.
When it came time to release the video, Eddie decided to throw a huge release party at his house. He called the event The Gathering. It was like a mini circus, complete with an open bar, circus entertainers doing aerial tricks on hoops, a contortionist, and Asian lanterns everywhere. As if all that wasn't enough, Eddie hired the LA-based band Starfuckers to play. Among others, the band consisted of John Karabi from The Scream and Motley Crue and Eric Dover from Slash of Snake Pit. Eddie had the band out early in the afternoon to run through some songs and then played for about 40 minutes at the party. The set list consisted of Eruption, Cathedral, Rebel Yell, Jump, Ain't Talking About Love, You Really Got Me, and Panama. Karabi has recounted the party a few times over the past several years, including in his book, and included a few cool anecdotes. In one story, he talked about how Eddie cut the strings off his guitar in front of him and then began to restring it. Karabi said he was pulling the strings and he was tuning it. And Eric Dover said to him, hey, do you want a tuner for that? And Eddie says, no, I tune it by ear. And then he went out, no tuner, he just did it, his guitar, boom, walked in, plugged it in, and Dover goes, dude, seriously, you tune it by ear? And he goes, you want to see? He stepped on a pedal, plugged in his guitar, and it was perfect. On the Full in Bloom podcast, Karabi explained, I got more of a kick rehearsing with him than the actual show. He's like, dude, do you guys remember this Grand Funk song? And he loved Cream, Eric Clapton. So we're playing Cream, Mountain, Grand Funk, Zeppelin, like all this stuff. And he knew it all. And to me, that was the fun part. Here's a little bit of Eddie's backyard party, The Gathering. I think this is a great story and one I think a lot of fans may have missed or forgotten about. Personally, I remember hearing about Eddie's backyard party in 2006, but I had no clue at the time the party was for the release of a porn, especially one he had recorded two songs for. So there you have it. Thanks for checking out the video. Please leave your comments below. I'd love to hear your take on the songs or just your general feelings about Eddie. As always, please like and subscribe and share this video to your socials. There are many more videos planned and your clicks help us keep rolling. Take care, guys.